so this is the Sofern SC32 so this is rated at 2000 lumens with a range of 214 meters this has got a rear electronic tail switch uh, there is a bit of a ridge around here to help it to tail stand and so that it doesn't activate too easily in the pocket it's a nice firm press to it that helps as well and uh, you know there's no movement and it also the this is the same tail switch used in the Workos TS10 and Sofin, uh, Sofin's factory makes the Workos models so that's why they've used the same switch uh, this has got uh, two two sided clip sufficient grip uh, for the knurling on the body quite a um, compact small model here and that is due to the fresh knurl lens used so there's no reflector in here so that helps to uh, you know bring the size down you've got um, the Illuminous SST40 used in here um, and your USB type C charging with your status indicator on the side so the, with the fresh now lens on here it produces a very nice balanced beam good distance good flood as well uh, I, fo I found it very very good and you've got but you've got two outer rings you can't see it too well on camera but there's two outer rings that doesn't bother me too much uh, at all but it is present um, to mention uh, the real downside of this model to me is uh, the green the green tint on the 5000k version um, you know it's very very bad uh, it might not be present on the 6500 Kelvin version um, you know or later batches this is the very first release that I grabbed off Aliexpress my contact sent it to me um, and I've had this for a little while now uh, but it's uh, really unpleasant I really hope uh, that that has been um, updated but I would like to see another version of a new type of LED like the Nisha 519A uh, used in it. It's very, very pleasant. Really, really like it. Um, and I'm just, uh, to be honest, getting tired of seeing the SSD40 used. I think it's dated and there's better options out there. Uh, I wish Sofin would focus more on the beam quality, like the, the tint of how it looks, rather than just maximum lumens. Uh, the uh, this you know overall it's quite good but it's sort of nothing that catches my eye over it then so far's other models nothing really that really captivates me that draws me into buy it uh, you know I recently bought a gift for somebody for from the Sofern website and I just skipped right over this model it just uh, you know the, some of the other models offer a bit more and uh, you know in regards to the performance uh, you know, there's no like stabilization on any of the levels. It's just, uh, I didn't test like Moonline that, but like I uh, tested turbo and high. There's no stabilization there. It just drops down uh, with the battery voltage, and um, yeah, so it's nothing that really stands out to me. Uh, turbo lasted like 35 to 40 seconds before it reduced down, and high uh, lasted a minute and a half before it dropped down to the 450 lumen level. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's something a, a, a little bit different for Sofern, but uh, just, uh, you know, it's one of those models that I'm just a bit on the fence about, that's all. But uh, I've taken all the outside footage, I've used uh, some models against it, like the IF22A. I didn't really have any models on hand that are around the 200 metre mark you know and around 2000 lumens to compare so I just grabbed a whole lot of the Sofin models and then uh, just to give it an idea of actually how it looks so we're just outside I'm just going to go for a bit of a walk and go through the levels so at the moment that is the moonlight level there's your low medium mode
there's high and there's turbo there so yeah it's lighting up this whole area really well good range nice wide beam if I point it down to the ground here it's providing a lot of useful spill see where you walk in so yeah very very impressed just the beam profile on it